Hey, all, it's me from Millennial Fantasy. I noticed a lot of confusion in the community on how to obtain the resistance weapons and how to do so most effectively. In this short video, I will explain just that. Let's get into it. As a short note, this video is solely for the update from the item level 485 resistance weapon to the item level 500 resistance weapon, because this particular path leads to a lot of confusion. There is another upgrade afterwards, which I might cover in a different video, depending on how it is communicated by the game itself. Note that this means you should obviously have your resistance weapon of item level 485. If not, do that relatively short questline first, starting in Kugane from the NPC called Kaiten. Getting your resistance weapon upgraded requires a bit of a grind. Though from what I have heard, it is not as bad as the Eureka grind. There are two main paths you can take to do this. One focuses on the Bajan Southern Front and the other one on Fates in Heaven's Ward Zones. There are a few pitfalls along the way which I have seen people fall into which might hinder your progress significantly and reduce your enjoyment. So pay attention. Even though this video will not focus on the story within the Bajan Southern Front in any way, it will show footage from that place. So if you do not want to be spoiled for that content, you can watch the path regarding Heaven's Ward Fates. Check the timestamp in the description below. With that out of the way, go accept the quest in Gangos and play through it. The first pitfall is right here. Make sure you have the quest known as For Want of a Memory from Zlatan to get fragments of memory. I've seen a lot of people dive into the Bajan Southern Front without this quest, and it will not allow you to get the memory fragments you need. At the end of this particular quest, you can turn in the memory fragments and immediately receive the first upgrade to your resistance weapon to get it to item level 500. As a side note, make sure you accept the quest with the resistance weapon you want to upgrade first. The game gives you a warning, so this one is a bit less of a pitfall. However, it is still important you think about which weapon you want to upgrade. So a bit more detail about this particular quest. It requires you to have 20 memory fragments of each type, so that's 60 in total. We will talk about the types in a bit. After you obtain the necessary fragments, make sure you have the weapon of choice in your inventory. The actual weapon you chose upon accepting the quest is in the quest description as well. Emphasis here on that the quest won't let you complete if you have it equipped. You need to have it in your inventory. So how do you get these 20 memory fragments of three different types? Well, there's Heaven's Ward Fates and there's the Bajan Southern Front. Note that you can mix and match these two paths as you see fit. So you can get a bunch of fragments from the BSF or Bajan Southern Front and then complete your collection with some Heaven's Ward Fates or vice versa. This will make much more sense after we discuss both ways. Let's talk about the more obvious way first, the BSF. Again, the reminder before you go into BSF or do Heaven's Ward Fates, make sure you have the quest for want of a memory. I won't go into the exact details of how this content works and I will give you my opinion on it in a later video. Again, this will have some spoilers in it, even though I won't show the storyline. The gist is the following. There are three subzones in BSF and each will have events in them that give a chance of dropping a type of memory fragment. Note that these zones are gated. You start off in the sudden entrenchment. To get into the second zone, Old Bajia, you need to be resistance rank 5. To get into the Alurma Climb, you need to be resistance rank 8. In short, you generally get a higher resistance rank by doing the content in previous zones. Now, very important, the Tortured Memory of the Dying drops in the Southern Entrenchment. The Sorrowful Memory of the Dying drops in Old Bajia, and the harrowing memory of the dying drops in the Alermic climb. These memory fragments can drop from any kind of content within those zones, such as critical encounters, skirmishes, or simply just killing mobs. From what I have heard from other players and have seen myself, the bigger the content, the bigger the chance of a memory fragment. 
but since it is based on chance, it is hard to tell what is most efficient. My personal strategy was that I went around doing skirmishes in a group and tried to get into a critical encounter when it popped. Even though when this guy shows up, it might not be worth your time. Before we move on to the other path, the BSF seems to be an excellent way to level up if you have an alt job that is at or above level 71. The BSF will scale your character up to level 80 and item level 430. So if you have been dying to level up one of your alt jobs, this is your chance. So the other way to do this is to grind out fates in Heaven's Ward zones. The type of memory fragment is split per zone depending on how high level the zone is. I personally tried in the Sea of Clouds, the Churning Mists and Aziz La. Maybe that has something to do with the zones are actually unlocked flying in. However, you can do fates in the other zones as well and they line up like this as you can see on your screen right now. The good thing about doing it in Heaven's Ward phase is that a memory fragment is a 100% guaranteed drop as long as you get the maximum fate participation rewards. There are a lot of fate groups or trains in these zones, so you should be fine as long as you follow the herd on your flying mount and do some decent damage. In terms of leveling, you can collect these fragments while doing the fates on another job as well. For example, I wanted the Relic Weapon upgrade for my Dragoon, but did the Fates as my White Mage just to get some more experience for that job along the way. So how do you get the Resistance Weapon upgrade the quickest? Again, you can mix and match any way you like. However, on paper, and as long as you can find a decent Fate train or group, doing this by grinding out Heaven's Ward Fates is significantly quicker. It only requires you to do 60 Fates in three different zones, and with a decent train, the speed is really quick. So if you want the Relic Weapon upgrade as quickly as possible, go for those Heaven's Ward Fates. That being said, if you want to do the Bosch and Southern Front content anyway, why not use your time there to get some initial fragments? To unlock pretty much all of the content in there, you need to be rank 10, which should give you a decent chunk of memory fragments already. Afterwards, you can choose to grind out either the Fates in Heaven's Ward or the Bosch and Southern Front. The way I did it is that I got up to rank 9 within the Bosch and Southern Front, and then I lost my patience and simply wanted a Relic Weapon for that night's raid. And since I had a lot of the Zone 1 and Zone 2 fragments, but was missing many Zone 3 fragments, I flew around in Azizla for an hour or so and got my Relic Weapon upgrade. Either way, once you have the memory fragments, turn them in to obtain your really cool new weapon upgrade. So there you have it. Hopefully this will make things more clear in terms of how you can get your Relic Weapon upgrade in the most effective way. Did you come across any pitfalls or heard of any? Any tips for the second upgrade path? Let the community know in the comments below. Take care.